Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you see who's on the table? That's my Micah Poo. Yes, honey. He is Micah. He is the Warren Sculpt by Laura Tudor Ross. He was painted by myself. And one day he'll eventually get rooted, child, but not today. Because we got a lot going on over here. But I know that you guys have been seeing so much of Bryson. The last few videos have been Bryson, 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 which I did want to do a Bryson video this morning as well. But I was looking at my mica and I was like, I got to change my poo poo. And I was like, why well, I should just do it with my girls. Because you guys know you're my girls. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm being extra. But, um, but for real, um, <clears throat> So, Micah Poo Poo is actually wearing his little outfit from Auntie Stacy at Gianna's Baby World Reborn. I always have to be careful when I say that. Um, she sent along some other lovely love mail, and I should actually show that. Well, let me just go ahead and show that, too, before I get him dressed. But as I show this beautiful love mail, and I thank you so much for sending this love mail... Um, Stacy, and it was wrapped so pretty. So, guys, I really love the little paper that she sent. So, don't worry, babies, don't worry. Mama gonna take care of y'all. Cause when I send some of y'all little gifts out, it's gonna be wrapped in this paper. Yes, we gonna reuse it, just like my grandma do. We reuse stuff over here. We recycle, honey. Don't look like that. Uh uh. Don't don't give me that look. Don't act like you ain't never used the gift bag from the baby shower that you went to and got your girl. Don't act like that. Well, some of y'all might have not because y'all bad and bougie and got money. And, you know, your man's rich and you rich. and Or, you know, y'all got good jobs and stuff. Y'all doctors and lawyers and psychiatrists and all that good jazz. That's good for y'all, but I'm not. So, we're going to reuse this paper, honey. Let me show y'all. Get into it, baby. It is so cute. But I'm like, oh, little trick is, yes, honey, we finna wrap that. We're gonna use that. And it was all folded up, all nice and neat. I said, child, she must be new. I was gonna reuse this, honey. Thank you, Stacey Poo. That's my boo. She been riding with me for a long time. Let's talk about that a little bit. No, let's not. But I'm just gonna say, some of my subscribers, you guys have been riding with me for a long time. When I say riding with me, that is um, a term of endearment. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait for it. Was that a big word? Girl, yes. Um, <laughs> that, you, that means you guys have been following my channel, following me on social media, supporting me in any way you could. Rather, it was joining the chatterbox, when it was the shade room, when, you know, the whole half of YouTube, the, the KKK people was after me. Child, listen, y'all was there. Y'all was there when I got on here and boo-boo cried, low snot boogers and all that because somebody told my doll apart. Child, y'all done been through it with me. You understand me? So y'all new people, y'all gotta understand my love and my passion for some of these people in this community. Like, we, listen, we done met up at some doll shows. Maybe we haven't, but I feel like you the girl next though. So, you know what I mean? It's just, it gets that way. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, online is not the same. You don't know who you're dealing with. Child, you don't know who you're dealing with. Some of y'all laying next to a man that ain't, he ain't who you think he is, boo. Child, you better ask uh, Vanessa. But anywho, and I don't mean Vanessa in the community, Lord, child, because y'all have been on ran back and told Vanessa in the community, child, you heard Serenity, she said your man ain't who he said it was supposed <laughs> Girl, you got to be careful. Y'all so sensitive on this social media. But anyway, and that's another thing. A lot of people have learned who I am, and I like to joke. I like to laugh. You know, I give commentary, but I try to do it in the most subtle way. And people accept me for who I am. The people that do that, I'm, I love you guys. That's genuinely that. I love the people that... Straight up, sometimes just tell me, sis, that ain't it. But I like when you discipline me. Not discipline me. Let's, that, that's the wrong word. I like when you correct me or put me in my place in private. Please don't show out on, on me and on the flow. Please don't show out on me in public at the, in front, in the, in, at the cookout booth in front of all my cousins and my little boyfriends and stuff. Because then I'm about to show out back at you. So I appreciate those because I do have some friends in the community that will check me and be like, you know what? You out of line. Like, why you did that? Like, you ain't think about it this way or da 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 da. And sometimes I be like, I still be thinking I'm right, child. 
But sometimes I be like, mm -hmm. girl, shut up. And then afterwards I be like, oh, she was kind of right. I was kind of wrong. You know what I mean? So, you know, those type of people. But you, you find people that you vibe with and there's those that... You know, oh, I love you, I love you, sis, I love you, boo, I love your work, I love you this, and child, they be like 227 in the window. Girl, you ain't heard it from me. Or oh, was that a living color? Girl, you ain't heard it from me, but Serenity, she ain't all that. She think her painting this, it ain't that. Um, Yeah, she basic, you know. And then they be like, hey, girl, girl, I love your work. Okay, but you won't never even buy my work. Ooh, that's so wrong. But anyway, let me get to these outfits. Child, how I got on to all that? Y'all got me all up in a old nasty, messy mood. So let me get my little mail, because child. Now, he wearing one of the outfits. I done took it off of him. Y'all seen the pictures on Instagram that um the little milk and cookies, child. Y'all know I love me some milk and cookies. I, don't, I mean, not literally, but I love the little... Um, outfits with the little milk and cookies and I love the little where that little saying oh, you got some milk and cookies I don't know how it went but so she sent this little rumper and I'm thinking I don't know if Phoenix Pooh can fit this but he might child but we gonna see if not I will be working on a bigger baby in between baby eventually and that baby will definitely wear it but this I know my Phoenix Pooh can wear this and I know y'all haven't seen Phoenix in a while, but he been chilling in the living room, child, watching TV, watching my man, making sure he ain't sitting on that sofa texting another chick while I'm at work, honey, because, child, let's get into it. Let's not play like they don't be trying to be slick, honey, up in the place. So Phoenix be there watching, honey, baby. I, when I get home, I hit that record button, Phoenix, what he said, who he called. Phoenix be like, my, he was on the phone with uh that church lady, and she smelled like mothballs. But, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> but, um, and then this little outfit, and everybody know I love elephants. If you don't know, now you know. I love me some elephants. So, I thought all this was so cute, and then she sent pacifiers. Y'all know how I love my pacifiers. And, let's, first, I got a question, Stacey, when you see this video. And I know I could just PM you, but it's on my mind, and you know I be forgetting stuff, right, girl? So, I want to see a video a Gianna and find out how she feeling about collecting at this point because she was all in and I know sometimes she still pop in but I, I want to know how she feel about is she really is she like outgrowing the dolls now at this point and maybe I've missed it and maybe she's already talked about it but I've just been curious about it because I am so looking forward to Gabby getting to a, a point where we can really really collect together because baby Gabby be going down the, the timelines baby reading these dolls sometimes she be telling myself oh mama hit that like button on that one that one's so cute and then sometimes she be like oh why does she post that or she be telling me some mama why it look like that oh uh-uh is that supposed to be a baby girl listen if you don't sit your little seven year old but <laughs> doubt girl listen my baby be into everything she is a politics everything child no more than me at seven years old but hey we gonna talk about that but anyway this this pacifier is so so cute like with the little fox i thought it was i think it's so cute so i he don't have a magnet you know i i haven't put a magnet in his mouth Cause I just thought his mouth was so cute and he, plus he take a modified pacifier. So I was like, mm, I don't know. So I hadn't put no magnet in, but I could clip that nipple actually. And, um, that box one and give it to him. And I think it's kind of small for his face, you know, to fit his face perfectly. So I might actually do that one with that one. The other ones I have to clip the whole nipple and, and put a magnet on it. But yeah, that was just really cute, and I just wanted to, you know, take the time to shout out. And I know sometimes, guys, one thing about it though, most of my my most most of my peeps, most of my Lolas, when they send me stuff, they send it from the goodness in their heart, and I really appreciate that. They're not looking for shout outs or anything like that. But I do feel like it it should be something that I should do, and I'm not always the best at it because y'all know I'm self centered and um just. <sighs> Just be all into whatever going on at the moment. And I lose track of things. And sometimes I actually forget what I supposed to be doing. Lord have mercy, child. When you when you I don't know if it's old age or you know, just the stress of life that's been messing with my memory. Cause and I and I'ma ask my doctor about it too, actually, because I read up on it and it said something about depression or 
and stress can make you forget stuff. But y'all, I be forgetting a whole lot. I must be hella depressed. I'm trying to figure out what I'm depressed about. I mean, I could think of a couple of things, but <laughs> damn. <laughs> My whole world must be falling apart because I can't remember nothing. <laughs> y'all know I be in the middle of a sentence talking about something. Now, what was the first word I said? <laughs> So y'all know I just be, mm-mm, that can't be normal. I just can't, I can't accept that as to being normal. I don't know about y'all, but I do. I just, I just be forgetting stuff. I love this baby. When I tell y'all, like, I'm going to be honest and real with y'all. I've never been a huge, huge, um, <clears throat> like, Laura fan. Like, I love Laura, Laura herself. Like, she's the most beautiful, spirited person um, I've always liked her babies, but I've done, I haven't, I haven't had a whole lot. There are certain ones that I've like really like been pulled into, but this skull, oh my gosh, I, it's just something about this, the way that she did the face. And then it's like the Anthony and the Abigail and okay, well then, I mean, never mind. It's quite a bit that I have liked, but I think that her for some reason i think that sometimes her reborns get don't get enough credit than what they deserve so like laura has this way of sculpting and i'm not a sculptor so forgive me if i if i say something i'm not trying to offend the of no, not defend offend anybody i'm just offend oh with oh oh offend anyone i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying that I feel when I'm painting her sculpt, when I get her sculpts, they are, they look kind of, they look realistic, but in a simpler form, so to speak. Like, they're not overly dramatic with detail, so-and-so. But when you paint her kits, it's something about the realism in the sculpting. I think it's just when you, you get a real sculptor and that hand touch and they, I don't know, it's something about the passion behind the sculpting. You gotta you you can tell that she actually loves what she does. It makes a difference, and I think that sometimes um, people don't make a big fuss about her sculpts as much as they do, like some of like the Laura Lee Eagles and you know um, Bonnie Brown and all of them. But I actually have found that every time I have painted one of her kits, it has had such a realism. And look like somebody, you know, like somebody child, somebody. And so I think that people overlook it because we be so busy going for what what we see. And and then one thing, you know, I don't know. I just so I really, really, I'm really, really um pumped about um this little guy. And I'm gonna paint me another one. I am actually going to order me another kit and I'm going to paint me another one. I'm going to do it in a different skin tone. So he's going to have a brother or a sister. I actually seen the prototype as a girl and I thought they really pulled it off as a girl and the girl was really sweet. I thought the girl was really pretty too. Um, the way that the prototype artist did the girl. So um, I think he could have a sister. So I'm 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 thinking about it, but definitely will be a different skin tone because you know I I don't like to keep painting the same skin tones and stuff. Look at him, he's so cute. I hate to put cover up his feet sometimes, but I'm gonna put him on these socks because I got yellow socks, girl. And I'm like, oh, who got yellow socks, child? I do me 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 me. So I'm like, oh, let me see what he look like with these yellow socks on, oh, baby. Let Child, when you can match yellow with something, I can finally use these yellow socks, honey, because there ain't too much yellow going on up in here. Oh, but now all of a sudden, this made me think about the um, banana fudge popsicle. I'm, oh, I told you it's so greedy. Oh, I said, that ain't nothing but the devil trying to get me fat. But he can leave me alone, because that's why I ain't even got no popsicle. Oh, I might have one, though. No, never mind. I might do have one, and I got to go look. But, um... But yeah, so that is my little Micah. Again, he is the Warren Sculpt by Laura Tudor Ross. Look at him. <laughs> he is AA. He's not biracial, but some people could say he's biracial. 
um but he is definitely more so painted to be an AA baby um I think these babies can be whatever you want them to be because I think you can find between Google your friends your cousins you can find any skin tone in any um race whatever um ethnic whatever the word is child I can't say it I ain't even finna try not today um I think you could find a baby that will match it and you could say oh see see this is real see see but um I really love the coloring how his the coloring came out on his like his hands and stuff like I have really been exploring with new colors and mixing some things up with both my reborns and my silicone babies just trying to get that ultimate realism to where they not only do they photograph well but in person when you see them it's like ooh that looks real or if they're across the room it's like ooh that looks real so with that being said that wraps it up for our baby Micah um guys let me know if you guys, um, what baby you guys would like to see, let me know. I've been asking, who is your favorite baby in my collection at the moment? I know I have quite a few um, babies, but I would love to know who is your favorite at the moment. And um, yeah, and who you would like to see next. And I'm thinking about dressing uh, Bryson as a girl to see if how he would look as a girl for some people out here that is wanting to do the kit as a girl. I know that Claire did um, the scope as a girl and all that. But y'all, everybody do their stuff differently, honey. Like, everybody baby ain't going to look like Claire baby. So, you know, you be like, Claire can make anything look good for the most part. So, you no, know, let's see what a regular, just a regular a person baby gonna look like so that's what i'm finna do for y'all how about that yeah that's what i'm gonna do so thank you guys for watching and this was definitely one of my crazy videos and i am just sorry if you it's not really sorry if you felt some type of way if you did child go sit in time out for a few minutes you'll get over drink some water and lay down and get back up and come watch the next video bye